Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Rice and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be discussing the different treatment options that are available for osteoporosis. If you haven't checked out the first two videos of this three-part series, I highly recommend that you watch those before watching this video. I'll put a link to those videos at the end of this video as well as in the description down below. Treatment options for osteoporosis can be divided into two major categories. The first is preventative or prophylaxis treatment, and the second has to do with pharmacological intervention or using medication to help treat the osteoporosis. For preventative measures, if you're at high risk of developing osteoporosis in the future, it is useful to do weight-bearing exercises 30 minutes a day at least three times a week. Weight-bearing exercises include anything that uses your own body weight in order to do some sort of activity. These can be things like walking, golfing, swimming, or playing pickleball. Another part of prophylaxis treatment is it's essential to make sure you're getting enough calcium as well as vitamin D in your diet every single day. From the pharmacological intervention side, these medications will typically only be administered for people who have actually had the diagnosis of osteoporosis. There are several options to choose from and we will go through each one individually. The first line of defense, if you will, is a class of medications called bisphosphonates. These are things like alendronate, and resendronate. These medications work by helping reduce the overall breakdown of your bones. Some common side effects to look out for, especially when first starting on these medications, are things like esophagitis or acid reflux that can really irritate your esophagus. These medications can also decrease the overall levels of calcium in your blood, so it's really important that every time you go in for a routine checkup, your local healthcare provider makes sure you have no signs of low calcium. The second line of defense is something called selective estrogen receptor modulators, or SERMs for short. These are things like tamoxifen and Evista. These help decrease the activity of estrogen specifically at the level of your bones and again, help reduce the overall breakdown of your bones. Also, another medication part of that second line of defense is something called teriparatide. This medication comes in the form of an injection and it's used primarily if you're unable to tolerate bisphosphonates. Another option that may be readily available to you is something called denosumab or prolia slash exgeva. This works in a similar mannerism by directly preventing the activity of the cells that break down your bones, effectively leading to less bone breakdown. As always, if you do have osteoporosis, it's absolutely essential that you get enough vitamin D and calcium in your diet every single day, as well as doing those weight-bearing exercises at least three times a week. Please leave a comment down below if there's anything in this video that you want me to cover in more detail. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you all on the next one.